All right, another uh, chest move in the strategy of things. I saw drone shot I did with food plotting. The drone fell out of the sky and crashed. I'm just trying to figure out if you, you know, if you want to haul it off of here. We, the block could just stay. We could knock that into a pile and just get the shingles. You know, get the roof and the floor and crack. <coughs> Couple you might as well take a video of this concoction. Uh, I just started and it's running. Alright, so we are up in Mrs. Capper's storage barn. Oh wait, this is my barn. She's taking up room. And my buddy Tom is in from Wisconsin. We used to work together back when I was an investigator. Tom, you got any words of wisdom of how awesome it was to work with me? Joey was as about as awesome as it gets in life. Glad to see you again. Wow, well it's good to see you. <laughs> So Tom is, in seriousness, he's building a cabin up in Michigan in the UP. Correct. So he's shopping in the bargain bin of Mrs. Capper. It's he's called Barnwood. He's liking this, yeah, though. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah he, <laughs> this can't fit on his truck, thank goodness. <laughs> All right, so here is Thomas's shopping list. Uh, we took the Milwaukee out quick. We zipped everything down to size so it'll fit in his truck. We got rustic metal, oak barn boards. Um, he's going to be surprised when he sees the bill, but <laughs> hey, a guy can shop, right? <laughs> and, it comes, and it comes with nails. And, and a few bonus nails. Kentucky barn wood for a Michigan cabin. I like it. All right, another uh, chest move in the strategy of things. I sold this 36 inch excavator bucket and I ordered a new one I'm just trying to look ahead you know a new one will obviously last longer and it is it does hold a, a bit more fill not a lot I think uh, almost two tenths of a cubic foot not a ton but I do have a small pond project coming up that I'll be using the new one for here pretty soon All right, got the new 36 inch bucket, man. That is an absolute beast. I mean, when you look at it up close, you wonder how a 42 can handle this, but wow. Well, I got this specifically for a uh, upcoming large water and hole slash small pond that I'm gonna be doing. It's bigger than the original one, not by a ton. I think it's 0.16 square feet or so, but it does look bigger even up close I sold the other one so it wasn't too much I mean yeah it was another investment but I figured I'm gonna keep this e42 for a long time hopefully Right, so that last drone shot I did with food plotting, the drone fell out of the sky and crashed. 
uh, the battery came loose so in here you can't see it now I had to solder the wire that broke in there and this is um, JB weld on both of these legs and man this stuff works great I love JB weld I think it's gonna fly again I haven't tried it yet I'm waiting for the stuff to dry I'll push this out in another direction. Uh -huh. Come here, kitty. Come here. Ooh, we're sitting on the beach and we got a snake coming in, intruding on my area. Little bugger. I talk to Hoochie, it's a nice machine, but of course, Tamper's brand new here, but uh, even in the B42 they had before, pretty. Be a lot smoother operation wise. Of course, that's a rent machine like that. It's probably been used and used. Alright, I'm in the tank of Hoochie. That's the best angle I could get because I need a magnet. And I don't I can't figure out how to turn the boom a little bit, so that's all we got, but Give this thing a whirl. This is a uh, 13,000 pound machine, and Curtis is using mine, uh, which is a 10 pound or 10,000 pound machine. sneak out here. Let's see what we got. Snake Road on Capper Farm. Oh, that's a pretty one. That's pretty. Let me get the better side over here. Just get off the road. Come on. Trying not to squish you. There you go. Go on. I know it feels nice and warm on the gravel. There you go. Nice. Of course she quit anyways. She always does that to me too. Just 